Hi, this is Dr. Fujian Zain, and this is the tip of the week. As we move through the day, focusing on all that we have to do does not allow us to be aware of our internal moods and actions that express them to people around us. At times, it's great to stop and listen to our internal process. We can be so preoccupied with in- internal thoughts and emotions that we don't even notice the lack of our presence at work, in friendships, in romantic relationships, and in family relations. Others around us will react to our lack of presence in their interaction that we have with them. People around us will have lots of assumptions about this way of being or this change that has happened to us. They might get scared. They might get angry, sad, or suspicious about our lack of presence in our daily interaction with them or in our own daily interaction. These changed interactions open us to many, many misunderstandings. I've talked to employees who assume their bosses no longer appreciate them and will fire them. I've talked to parents who think that their children are so good and um, are doing something illegal or dangerous. I've spoken to mates who assume their partners are no longer attracted to them or having an affair. I've talked to children who believe that their parents are abandoning them since they have not been the ideal child. So they take it very, very personal and make it as if I'm the one who's the bad. Get the point, right? Now, however, we might not even be aware that our behavior has changed or that our changed behavior fuels many assumptions since we're not really internally, um, so since we are internally involved. Reality check is what I suggest for everyone involved. If you see someone's regular behavior pattern has changed, let them know that you are observing a change in their behavior. This observation sharing can be from a curious and an empathic stance and not from a judgmental make wrong stance. Obviously, you will get people defensive if you give them a negative feedback. However, if your reality checks from a neutral stance, you will probably more likely get the person to be appreciative of you and reflect on their own behavior. When people give us feedback, it can startle us and awaken our self-judgmental side. It's essential to take it in, reflect on the cause of our recent behavior and their impact. Becoming defensive and dismissing others' feedback will make us miss important information about our internal process and the leading behavior which needs to change before creating unreturnable change. These healthy communications will allow our relationships to be closer and more intimate. Allowing feedback also creates a grown space, a growth space for us to see the blind spot and shadow sides that we would have never seen otherwise. For more of the observational skills, um, check into awareness integration, psychological and educational theory and intervention. It can help you. Um, I've made this process structured practice that can support you become aware of who you are, your happiness times, your depression times, your dispositions, your dualities, um, how you behave and how those behaviors actually impact your life in so many different levels. This model also helps you complete the past and create an intentional future by being deliberate today. And if you want to experience that, um, just get my book, Life Reset, The Awareness Integration Path to the Life You Want. Thank you so much for listening with your heart. Togetherness Media. Togethernessmedia.com.